guests in the former president's and first lady's pew did their best to manage the historic awkwardness of the moment. Donald Trump shook hands with the man whose American birth and religious belief he spread lies about, and with the former first lady who says she'll never forgive Trump because those same lies put her children's lives at risk. Trump did not shake hands with the former president and first lady, whom he has labeled criminals. At perhaps a more comfortable distance sat other victims of Trump's vituperation, the family of the late President George H.W. Bush, including the son Trump ridiculed as low-energy Jeb. George Bush was a man of high accomplishment, but he also had a delightful sense of humor. Former Prime Minister Brian Mulroney had a close friendship with President Bush and with President Ronald Reagan, at whose funeral he spoke in 2004. Their time in office overlapped with each other's and with some historic moments in bilateral and international relations. Mulroney spoke about their work on NAFTA, acid rain, and the reunification of Germany. Bush, he said, defined the highest quality of a president. It's called leadership. Leadership. And let me tell you that when George Bush was president of the United States of America, every single head of government in the world knew that they were dealing with a gentleman, a genuine leader, one who was distinguished, resolute, and brave. Not all of the 41st president's life will be remembered that way. But at this moment, the last word belonged to his oldest son, the 43rd president who spoke of a reunion of his father, mother, and sister Robin, who died in childhood. The best father a son or daughter could have. And in our grief, let us smile knowing that dad is hugging Robin and holding mom's hand again. And then one final personal farewell. Keith Bogue, CBC News, Washington. Now, Donald Trump did not speak at the funeral, and while that might not be a surprise, given what Keith just mentioned, it does go against the custom of recent years. Sitting presidents have spoken at the past three presidential funerals. Clinton spoke for Nixon in 1994. George W. Bush spoke at the funerals for Ronald Reagan and Gerald Ford. In addressing today's omission, Jeb Bush avoided any mention of Trump's conduct. It's because... We have a unique circumstance here. My brother was president, you know. <laughs> Trump, for his part, praised the late Bush in a statement over the weekend, saying he set the bar higher.